in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to make a multi-purpose book infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here i have just created this kind of a, a notepad you can say and then here on the right side i have put a different five options here you can see a education idea business strategy and the target along with the icons and the detailed text and for example, if you're in education, you can just put the same title here, education, and then uh, you can give all the details here. You can type or write all the details along with the images and the icons. And then I have put a binding effect towards the left side and this arrow pointing, that means we are in this particular slide. Now, uh, this can be done in any version of PowerPoint. I have not used any animations. I have not used any merge options. Uh, all is available in all versions of PowerPoint. So let me just show you. If I just click, it goes to the next one. You can see this is the idea. I have put the, uh, the slides of mine only here, all the images of mine designs. So this is the idea. And when I click, this is the business slide or the business page you can see here this is the strategy page and the last one is the the target page now this is the five uh, options if you want we can add one more like this with four options only so whichever way you feel you can just adjust it you can make it five six seven also but only the thing is the width will be reduced so let's see how to use this multi-purpose notepad design slide in powerpoint Add a new slide, go to insert shapes and from the rectangles, I'm going to select the second one, which is the rounded corners. Just click it and shape outline, make it no outline and I'm going to increase the height and width. The height I'm going to make it maybe 6.2 and the width I'm going to make it 10. You can see here then align center, align middle and you can less the curves you can see the small orange point just drag it outside so how much curves you need maybe i need this much just keep it and then you can give some dark colors you can go to more fill colors and i'm just going to make it more darker i have selected this go to custom and you can increase the darkness and click ok and then i'm going to insert a rectangle just select the rectangle so how much size you need for example i need this much size a little bit i'll move it here and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select the white color and then i'm going to add uh, four or five rectangles again here go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle exactly from this position you can see here this much and make sure that it is aligned to the top then i'm going to right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill by default there will be four stops just delete the two stops you can see here now only the two stop remains now i'm going to select the first stop go to more color and choose any color of your choice the one is a darker color maybe this color i'm going to select click ok and then select the other point go to more colors and i'm going to select maybe this so you can see the combination and direction you can just choose the direction like this and i'm just going to select this white and i'm going to give some shadow effect here you can see here i can just give uh, maybe this shadow effect and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it just place it exactly or just give some space okay and then you can just keep on changing the colors so let me just select press ctrl d one more time you can see here and control d one more time and if you feel that the size are somewhat uh, overlapping this one or exceeding this one you can just simply maybe you can increase the size not a problem a little bit and then you can increase the size of this also or before only you can just uh, measure how much uh, it will fit either four or five now i have just taken five sorry four 
now if you want you can reduce the width and make it 5 also let me just select this and bring this to front you can see here there's a, a small shadow effect now you can select each and you can just change the color as per your requirement so let me just select this and i'm going to select this color so different different color combinations you can select example i'm going to select the turquoise along with some uh, light blue colors you can see here and then i'm just selecting this one go to more colors maybe i'm selecting the green one and here i'm going to select maybe this so you can see here different color combinations i have uh, created here and you have to make sure that this is no outline okay there should not be any outline there should not be any border for this now once you have done this one you can uh, create the the binding effect here so before adding the binding effect let me just uh, zoom in a little bit you can see here and then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select the basic shape uh, the oval one and then just draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key and shape outline again make it no outline and shape fill you can just give some darker colors here and you can give some shadow effect where i'm going to select from the inner this one inside top left you can see here it gives you this kind of effect and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle again draw a small rectangle let me just zoom in further you can see here i'm just going to place it here shape outline make it no outline let me just reduce the width and then i'm going to select the gradient fill and here i'm going to use three stop the first stop i'm going to select go to i'm going to select a black then i'm going to add one here and i'm going to make it white you can see here and then i'm going to select the third one again i'm going to make it a black now if you want you can add one more for example i can add one light color so you can see here it looks something like this a uh, kind of a a metal okay and then press ctrl d to duplicate it and then just group it uh, align it and then just make it in the center you can see here and then i'm just going to select this and press ctrl g to group it let me just zoom out so you can see the design and then it's simple press ctrl d to duplicate wherever you want position it just ctrl d keep on okay you can see here it is done then you want you can just arrange it in a right position now you can see here this has been added now if you want you can add it add some shadow effect also how to do that just go to insert shapes select the re rectangle draw a small rectangle again make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it black and increase the transparency level you can see here and then you can bend a little bit you can see here like this and then send this to back or i can just select this and bring to front also you can see here you can see a shadow effect here the similar thing i can just simply copy and paste it one by one like this so i'm not going to show you all you know how to do that now now once you have added this one then you can simply go and add the text if you have the icons you can add the icons for that you can go to insert and click on icons and remember that the this particular icons feature available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you're using any older version like 2013 even 2016 2007 or 2010 then this particular feature is not available and if you can uh, watch my videos i have created a complete uh, video on this one i have provided more than 500 free icons you can just download the slide or the template from there and you can use uh, onto your presentations so let me just add some uh, random icons here so i'm just going to select four different icons you can see here and click insert 
and I'm going to make the font uh, the color as white and I'm going to reduce the width by 0.7 inches height and width you can see here and then you can just paste it so this is just the random uh, icons I've selected then you have to select the meaningful uh, icons then you can go to insert text box you can add for example subject 01 again make it wide bold increase the size you can see here and then you can add some detailed text and this color also I'm going to make it white and reduce the font size and just place it make sure this is properly aligned and press ctrl D to duplicate just bring it here Control D and Control D and then just change the numbers to 2 Subject 3 and subject 4 And then once this is done uh, You can work anything here. You can add any of your text for example if you're talking of the subject one So I'm just going to select this press Control D you can see here I'm going to make this as a black color so that it will be visible on the white background and you can increase the size subject one and you can add any subject here you can add any text let me just add some text equals lorem you can see here i can use the font called the hand of scene so that it looks like a handwritten if you want you can make it center align and if you have any icons or any photos or images if you want to do it just you can place it over here and one more thing that uh, if the audience should know okay which slide are you in first of all the subject is also there and if you want you can just add some uh, arrow also here just as so that the audience know that you are talking about this particular uh, slide or subject so I'm just going to select white shape outline make it no outline now this is about the subject one and I'm just going to duplicate this slide you can see here this becomes the subject two I'm not going to do any animation nothing I'm bringing this one here and if you want you can do the morph transition that is also a very good idea for this one so likewise you can just add some example let me just add this photo here control c and control v you can see here i have just added this photo here likewise you can add uh, photos or text or diagrams or so many things you can do with this particular slide then again if you want double click sorry right mouse click duplicate slide then i'm moving this one to this and this will be subject three If you want you can change the color as per this one also for example i can just select and select this color also so it's up to you how you want to do that one so you saw that one this is a very useful or uh, multi-purpose slide it can be used for a variety of purposes for the teachers for the students as well as if you want you can use this as a hotel menu also and then the last part you can just change the background color for example let me just go to insert one shape here I'm going to select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. You can see here something like this. Shape outline, make it no outline, and I'm going to give a gradient fill. Gradient fill, not this color. I'm going to use uh, one darker color, and one I'm going to use the light color. And then change the direction, something like this, and then send this to back. You can see here it looks something like this. And if you want, you can just select this one, the the border or the background of this book and then you can just go to the effects and you can uh, give the reflection here you can give the reflection something like this and you can reduce the size you can see here and the background also you can use some light color background something like this
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye